I told you he wasn't recording it. It was just click the button. Hey, you know what's crazy about that? They updated it so that you wouldn't do that. So that they clearly say this is recording starting now. I told you I'm looking at the eleven. I don't see nothing. I was looking at it too. I was gonna ask, but I was like, he said something. Soon as soon as Pat came in, I clicked the button. I don't know why I didn't record. Uh, y'all think it's too fat. You was too busy fiddling your spam, and that's why you didn't push the right button. You don't wasted really? ten good minutes of of great banter. Yes. Kickball. Now we have no kickball jokes. Yeah. We got no kickball stuff. Yeah, but yes, you still on your kickball team? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> What'd you say, BT? I was like, I appreciate you so much more because you said, is it being recorded? Right. Look, and saw it wasn't, but you didn't press him. You was like, because I'm, you know what, BT? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why, BT. I'm going to tell you exactly why. I am working on not being a micromanager. So I'm giving my people the opportunity to succeed or fail. And I'm not saying, oh, Kev, oh, Kev. That Tahir used to work for would have been like, okay, because I don't see recording. Okay, but you know what? Double check. That's old cap. Mm. New cap, new person. I'm I, I really shouldn't have said nothing because the whole thing should be on to here. But as a team player, I saw it. I want to help. So I'm like, yo, why would you look at it and, and see that it's recording and and be like, oh, I'll, I'll believe him? The only reason <laughs> I did it is because I've been on a setup with Kadeem where it didn't say recording, but it said so on his because he did a little remix. That's what I thought, Pat. I thought maybe Tahir had did something. I don't know why I didn't do nothing. I looked at it too. I was like, oh, this is a different Zoom. This is Me different. too. That's a, so you know what? We can't even be I'm mad doing. at Tahir for this one because all of us saw that and we didn't say nothing. So I'm no, mad at I said something. I asked you him. Did. My <laughs> mistake was entrusting him. But you know what? Here's what I learned, BT. As a good leader, I have to give people the chance to fail because guess what? I failed. <laughs> you failed in not telling. I me. failed too, and I, nobody likes a uh, nobody likes the micromanager. <laughs> That's me. Hey, well, th at least this has to be on camera. Uh, Meg went zero oh, and six in her kickball. First of all, it was maybe it was. I don't know how many games we played. It might have been more, but I'm gonna say six. It, are we blaming the glasses or no? Because you couldn't see your hand or not. You don't play in those, do you? No, these are not real glasses. These are prop glasses. You said that like that made sense for you to wear them in real life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What are you talking about, guys? Okay, you still got them. Those glasses have survived three moves, even across country. We are not doing this to here. Don't help him. <laughs> Do not help him. We are not talking about everything we talked about. Don't ask them what she's eating. They lost. Don't get none of that stuff. To hear you ruined it. Kevin, you lost a whole episode before. That was my wife. Uh, oh. There goes that bus. Me and me. There goes the bus. The number three is coming down. <laughs> I take responsibility for it, but that wasn't me. Just saying it happened. That's also iCloud. iCloud kind of played me on that one because I had I had too many things saved to the desktop of stuff that where other people were using the uh the um that same computer it was too much sometimes iCloud sometimes iCloud backfires I don't trust the iCloud at all I have listen business. I don't know if you knew this BT my uh my son had had my old laptop mm -hmm. he was logged into the iMessage of it and he saw your porn he, no he didn't see my porn but <laughs> uh let's just say me and his mother were speaking suggestively mostly oh, me no. and uh <laughs> after one interesting session the next day he was like uh you might want to sign out of the messages on the laptop you gave me <laughs> and uh i fired a few off you know seeing a little uh seeing what what he could become as a man one day uh, so <laughs> icloud really did your boy dirty <laughs> did you did you realize it halfway through like home alone like, Zay -Zay! <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, it was it was Joe. Luckily, I don't know if he saw everything. He just happened to bring it up. So the potential is there. There's no telling what he saw. Man, poor guy. Couldn't have been good if he had to tell you guys to like. Yeah, stop. It, there's no telling. And it, listen, I, I'm the only one that's going to be exposed. His wife, my my wife, she she can hang her head high. I was like, well, son, you want to know where babies come from? <laughs> You want a fake right. cigarette. 
Meg Hush, you in this fake relationship. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he just shake her head. I ain't seen a picture of him in years. <laughs> Did you wish him happy Father's Day on the ground? <laughs> Go look at my story. Uh, it's off the story now, but it's my story. He ain't even main page worthy. Shame, shame. <laughs> I haven't been posting to my main page much. If you go, I on. Meg, he should make it. <laughs> Look, I don't. Do oh, this. oh, you could put a brand deal on your main page. Oh, money matters, but love doesn't. <laughs> mm. Business. Atlanta Peaks, come celebrate this Juneteenth. Oh, Juneteenth matters, but not the father of your child. Mm -mm. <laughs> Once the date has been set, that's when he'll get on the main page. Oh, you can post the kickball and the baby back in April, but yeah. not the father of your child. Do you see how long ago I posted? Oh, I've been you really been cooking, man. That's, that's like three months and like four that's posts. I'm saying, because I've been busy, y'all. Moving into this house is taking up all my time. Man, you moved into that house a month ago. I don't want to hear that shit. No, I moved into this house three weeks ago. Thank you. That's almost a month. Was it really only three weeks ago? Yes, and it's an estate. Ooh, so congratulations. Oh, is it called an estate? The scoop escape? Like I just call it an estate because I like that word. But You in the east wing right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm in the east wing. North wing. The internet looks better though, Meg. I will say that. Well, I told you I moved to the white neighborhood. They got infrastructure here. They ain't have that in the black neighborhood. <laughs> playing me but the rich white people that was like internet for you guys absolutely but the blacks no position now you play on uh your kickball team huh what position here you stop team? it warden, <laughs> I play uh, warden. <laughs> power warden <laughs> you know what y'all don't know how to play it you know this is what we gonna do we need to do a squad versus squad with kickball on my kickball team. And I guarantee you- Man, you'll get the brakes beat off your team. You guys are 0-6 within your own league. Why are you doing- <laughs> well, we, No, within a that few was... leagues. Within a few leagues. <laughs> you want to do a I mean, when y'all When y'all trot onto the field, they'd be like, oh, this is an easy win for us. <laughs> when they see you go over to third base, they're like, kick at, kick at third, kick at third. <laughs> They play in San Diego. Meg over there with a fan. Meg over there with a fan. We did. We made it to playoffs, and we like almost. We made it what? So like the second round, we almost won. We was like this, top five. This is the co-ed team. That has no, to this is our team. Then the, we were in a different league last in the fall. Ooh. That league, we did really good, and then oh, I guess oh, that's what y'all playing. Step that up to the harder league, and then we is straight trash in the hard league. Yeah, that's what y'all playing the kids. You go right back down. You know what? Hey, that was too much. Put I know. I like to. I like to win. Okay. I don't care if it's a, who we're playing. I don't care if you put us in the sixty plus league, and we the only underage ones. We gonna Where win. Where you rank in your team? Like, are you like the? Like, do you start? Do they bring you out when the times are tough? When they when the, the when the good players are tired? Like, when do you, when do you see the field? <laughs> So uh, kicking, I'm at the end of the roster. Um, they got basically they got they, her team has to be up by thirty for Meg to take the field. Yeah. They got, Meg is a Meg sounds like the person we just need nine. Meg, come just you be consistently at practice. That's what I'm trying to say. She's equipment manager. She just gets to play sometimes. That's why she was like, I really brought it that time. The equipment. Wow. <laughs> just cut to her with a bag of balls. I really brought it. <laughs> she got a, a net with the, all the balls in it. <laughs> Who brings the snack? Do y'all be having snacks and orange slices and stuff? Everybody brings the snacks. Everybody brings a snack. Let me tell you something about this kickball team. Them snacks is lit. Mm -hmm. yeah, they got everything you want. Kind bars. Why do you <laughs> we be having, and we have drinks. We be having drinks there too. Oh, oh, that's After a while, the coach is just like, you know what, y'all, y'all not gonna win, so y'all just have a good time, and we did. Yeah, I believe there's a there's an adult coaching you, telling you <laughs> <laughs> he's really good. That is the funniest part of that story. Y'all be doing <laughs> drills on Tuesday night. He's like, he's like 29. <laughs> yeah, what's his background? He's military, he's actually. Yeah, military background. And he's a DJ and uh, real, realtor. None oh, of this. He don't care nothing about y'all. He don't care. This is just another yeah, check. He does. And our, <laughs> we had a Juneteenth event that was sponsored by the kickball team and it was bomb. It was great. 
Does he give what you is the like dues, man? Like, How much is the car? There's no dues. You just pay for your uniform and your league fee. What is that? Whatever the league charges. <laughs> is that every month? Mm-mm. Every season, though, you, you pay for that. Every season. So that's what it costs. What do you mean? So these, are, these would be the dues? No, I'm, I'm thinking dues because I've been on teams where you have to pay dues and that's for like, you know, equipment or like um, snacks or whatever. This one is you just pay for your uniform, whatever it is that season. It could be like 60 bucks or something. Mm. And then you pay for whatever the registration is for that league. Sometimes it's $50. Sometimes it's $70, whatever. No. And that's it. I can't even. I can't judge you too much. I was on my swim team and we we never won to meet. And I never swim won. team. When did you swim? You were a swimmer. I'm a big fishy fish boy. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how old were you when you were on the team? This is this is high school. Uh, this is high school. But I was a big fishy fish out there, man. What, what was your What was your swim? What Which one did you do? Beluga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> T <laughs> Beluga Kingsley. <laughs> Go on my bed and spurt a little water out of my belly button. It was good. Time. <laughs> oh my god! I was bad. I was bad at all the at all the meat. They, they kept throwing me the stuff, and it kept not working out. I was illegal every time. You Wait, know what swim were you doing? Which one? Uh, this is freestyle, probably like the 100 freestyle. But like when you jump in the water, you know, you're not supposed to um, like everybody jump in and go across. I would jump and go all the way down and then touch the floor and then kick back up. And like a go. hippo? <laughs> That's how hippos swim. <laughs> they were like, he's touching the floor. And it was like, just let it go. Isn't that like significantly slower than other people too? No, not when you touch the floor because then you almost, you get the little bounce off. And then I'd be caught up right at the beginning. But then by the fourth round, I'd be like way behind. Ooh. And then after I graduated, I got substantially faster. I was like, oh, this is what she meant. Like <laughs> this. I thought <laughs> it was like this. I can't imagine BT on the swim team. <laughs> Either. That's what I'm trying to say. He gave it like a technique that clearly didn't work, but he explained it like it was better. <laughs> He's like, I lost every time. <laughs> See what you got to do. <laughs> I was trying to get a, uh, I was trying to get a varsity jacket, man. You know those was all the rage. Uh, and I was That's cool. hilarious, man. <laughs> I didn't hilarious. get it. I, I ended up not getting it. I was nobody is surprised about that with BT. Well, listen, we're gonna jump right into uh, this first topic of the day right after this. Look, I do the majority of my shopping online now. I rarely hit the stores. And we've all seen that promo code at the checkout, just dreading it, like, oh, I don't have the code. But thanks to Honey, manual search for coupon codes, ah, it's a thing of the past. Honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. They range from tech to gaming to popular fashion sites, even food delivery. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on your favorite site. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Just wait a few seconds as Honey searches the site to see what coupons it can find. If Honey finds any coupons, you'll watch your prices drop. Honey saved me $15 on a pair of wireless headphones. Honey has found over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and it installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash squad. That's joinhoney.com slash squad. First topic of the day, we have what's worse, laughing at someone's funeral versus starting a problem at someone's funeral. This one's easy to me. Mm-hmm. I think using the funeral to start a, like a, a problem is by far worse because it's either over some shit that happened over the with the with whoever died or it's just like you seeing somebody you haven't seen in a long time and then just using that platform or that day that event to like take out your own shit whereas i've never been to a funeral where people didn't laugh i feel like people like like bacon jokes and stuff and like all types of stuff especially afterwards because you know, there's always that moment where there's laughter and then it, and somebody says, like, see, this is what he would have wanted. She would have wanted, you know, but Look how I, he brought us all together. 
Yeah, but Pat, it's like it's like the the laughter that don't count. They be like, he worked so hard, you be like, ha! He was lazy. Like, <laughs> so wait, that specific kind of laugh, like T's laughing. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it's like uh, the, yeah, I heard I John Witherspoon funeral was hilarious. That's not what I'm right. talking about. <laughs> you're laughing at the obituary while they read the obituary and, and you're like, this nigga was none of that. A good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I still think starting a problem is worse. Yeah, I um, agree. Here, did you tell me about the time you did stand up at a funeral? I did stand up at a funeral, at my grandmother's funeral. At your own? At my grandmother's funeral, yeah, my own. Hey, come do stand up at our funeral. Were you booked or did you just get up and do it? They was like, anybody want to say some words? And it was like really somber. So I went up there to try to lighten the mood. You did a set? You was killing too, wasn't you? I did a hundred minutes. Did you do crowd, do crowd work or just mostly on your grandma? <laughs> it was just stories about my grandmother, like having short hair. My grandma had short hair all her life, like shorter than mine. And she would always be like, y'all kids is getting in my head. We would all be like, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that guy, I bet that broke it up a little bit. Yeah, it woke it up yeah. a little bit. And my grandma was, she was old, uh, uh, Kojic too. So like she never, ever wore pants, like ever wore pants. Mm. Like maybe her last three years of life, she never wore pants ever in her life. What was it about those last three? I don't know, she got cold, nigga. <laughs> so them stockers no, weren't doing hey, no stockers weren't doing what they were supposed to be doing. She threw she on got cold? Pants. She got, that's the only thing I could think, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do they, do they even still sell stockings? I ain't seen stockings in a long time. I ain't seen stockings yep. in that little egg. We were just talking about that. Remember the stockings used to come in that little egg? <laughs> I ain't seen they don't have the egg. I think they have, it's like a cardboard little box thing that has like a pear shape or dome shape. Would that be with box. like dress socks? Where would you find it? it? It's with the socks in the women's section. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I still wear them? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Not many people. I think I'd rather be like starting a problem. Cause cause all right, if I'm <laughs> laughing, then I am the problem. And then somebody might start a problem with me for laughing. Right. But if I'm starting a problem, it just depends on what the problem is. Like, like what if I'm speaking up from them from the grave? Like what if, you know, what if I'm Swiss beats at the DMX like funeral? Like, ah, I ain't really mess with y'all like that. Relax. Yeah, starting the problem though. Huh? When you're starting the problem, you'd be defending the person who's starting the problem, or not defending, yeah, but the, going at the person. But it still might be an issue, right? Like if, like, like Pat, there's like I always say this, like I know my family, but I know like my people better. Like I might know my friends more than I know my family. Mm -hmm. Like they know me day to day, whereas my family see me through the holidays. So I just feel I don't know, man. I I'd start some shit for y'all. I just I'm just saying. If somebody, if, if somebody from Cass, it was just like, yeah, we call Kev all the time. I know you didn't. That's why he started that. He been talented. Like I'll just go in, bro. <laughs> we can't have yeah, you muted. Dang, I'm not. I don't, I don't really want to say it now. <laughs> say it. I was just saying, I want my funeral to be a great time. I want to be roasted so well that I'll be like, dang, y'all think it's killing me. <laughs> I want, and I listen, I want, I don't want people who don't know me to talk about what I would have wanted. You don't know me. Only Melissa and the boys would be able to say, this is what he would have yeah. wanted. Right, yeah. But that's what, that's a position in my mind. Like if Melissa started an issue, it was probably a good issue that needed to be said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was probably worth it. I, I'm gonna go with her. I feel like you can explain a laugh though. You can. Yeah, funerals be funny, man. Funerals. I had funny. jokes at my grandma's funeral. It was, it was, everyone was sad. She died at like, she's 92 and everybody was sad. And then my dad, they asked me to come say something. And I heard 22 grandkids. I was like, me? Okay. And then I shared what I, uh, a word of advice she taught me. Mm. And everybody, everybody laughed, but her kids, my aunts and uncles, because I guess there's more to the story that I didn't know, but everybody else laughed. Meg went up there like, I ain't really no bro like that, but one time. <laughs>
It ain't her fault. It's 22 of us. At my uncle's funeral, my mom started taking pictures. And like, not from her seat. She got up out of her seat and started walking around taking pictures of everybody at the funeral or the flowers. The service is still going on. Hey! Up there doing it. And she's just like, and I'm looking at And the casket too? Like the open casket? Uh, the casket wasn't open at that point. Okay. But she was taking pictures. It was like, you could have waited. They're not going to immediately roll the casket out. You could have waited until the service was over. She's just like, nah, but now. Have y'all, ever, have, have y'all ever been to a um a funeral where some crap like some bad stuff popped off? Mm-mm. No. You mean like a fight? Yeah, a fight or a disagreement or something. Only arguments, not really ever like fightings or shootings. Like what kind of argument? I don't know. I, there, there was just like a lot of ladies that popped up and yeah, player, player. That's gonna be a past funeral right there. It's gonna- <laughs> Oh, it's they gonna, gonna be, all have on oh, their gonna be Listen, lit. It's, it's gonna be sixteen chicks with their head wrap holding the incense, thinking that they were the one. <laughs> they gonna have their cloud shorts on available now. <laughs> BT, they gonna come in sage in the funeral hall like this. What he would have walked cloud in. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a. Uh, hold on, okay. wait, Pat. Is there any so one girl that could say anything over? All the other chicks, or would it what, be like what? Hey, man, how y'all been? Y'all been good? Don't do that to the boy. Come on, Sam. Hey, so for you, you have forgot to press the record button. You I see? did, I did. But I gotta play. I don't to be honest so about it, man. It's all good. We having a good time. Pat, you still at the house right now? You gonna make it on time? That's cool. Yeah, That's okay. yeah I'm about to leave right now. All right, cool. That's what's now, up. Pat, Pat's funeral, funeral. He gonna get the church keyed up. They gonna be like, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, you like, I don't even go to this church. I'm somebody gonna feel my pain. Yep. <laughs> Scratch it, <the> sucko. Very <laughs> uh, face was like, I almost had your ass. <laughs> Meg, messy. Meg, messy. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just <laughs> saying. Because because he's gonna have that type of funeral, because he's not honest. You gotta be honest. No, I think Pat's honest is good. Honest or not. Lie. I think Pat's honest. I think what. I, this is my honest opinion about Pat. This is untested. I think Pat tells girls exactly what it is, and they expect it to be something else other than what he said. I give it, and I they give get it mad that. at themselves for accepting the truth that he told them. Like, oh, you really just meant this. It was going to be this and not that. It's like, yeah, but when he gets some of this vagina, that's going to change his mind. Pat gets the vagina was like, no, still the same. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what drove myself. I never really I know, you like, you, do you like think that. this is my first time having a vagina? I've had really good vagina before. Yours was mid, but bless your heart. <laughs> Yours was mid. Yours was Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> when she's on her way out, do you give her a part and give? Like, you can take the cloud shorts with you available. <laughs> you only have small and extra small left, but you know, you can take those, make a bandana or something. Right anyway. up in there a little bit. And you know what's crazy? I don't even think Pat leave the girl to have sex with somebody else. She's like, why do you need me to leave? I want to play Zelda. That is <laughs> 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 unbelievably honest, man. I, I heard him over time. No, I, I, I agree with you on that. I agree like, with that. It was Zelda a, time. It was a really a waste of a condom. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was a funny little uh little uh teasing, guys. Little, look, no lies were told. Look, see, look. What else, what else we got for today? <laughs> what else we got for today? <laughs> Back to you, see here. <laughs> well, let's put it to a vote then. <laughs> I like man. Lie, bro. Lies are good, man. Oh man. Good times, man. Good times. What was the what was what are we voting on? Um, what's worse, laughing at a funeral or start making a scene at a funeral? Making a scene, starting the problem. Making a scene. Y'all should have started that when that person was alive. Don't be trying to bring it up when they did. Sometimes it's unrelated. Y'all, did y'all hear about what happened? I'm, I know you're trying to finish this to me to hear, but this was really interesting. Did you hear what happened with Nina Simone over the weekend at her estate? Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Man, so her granddaughter was on Twitter like, yo, they took my, my, my grandma's estate from us. This is whack. So people are like, oh, snap, that is whack. Like, dang, that's wild. And they were blaming Kamala Harris for it. Yeah. Like, yeah, Kamala did this, Kamala did that. So obviously people who didn't like Kamala were like, this is what I'd be talking about. Somebody from San Francisco was like, actually, 
what happened was your mom had stole like $2 million from uh, the estate and Nina was very specific about what she wanted to get done. She wanted to donate it to charity or something like that. And your mom wasn't supposed to have access to that. Mm. So it was taken from her because she was misusing the funds. And the girl was like, oh. what? Hey, that's <laughs> crazy. So <laughs> she ended up having all these people on her side. And then it turns out that the, there was all this family drama and strife and Nina didn't really leave nothing to her family like that. She rather left, she left to some charities, uh, some kids' charity in Africa. It was wild, bro. But the point yeah. is, the, the granddaughter didn't know. And it's a perfect example of when people be dying, man, it'd be showing you a lot of people's family, family stuff do not be resolved when they mm-hmm. die. That's why you need a will and you need a trust and all that stuff. If you don't have all that stuff, you're gonna run, you're gonna run into those problems. Damn. That's so she whistle blew herself, like. Well, what's up with her mom? And they <laughs> had it be wild to me how people on Twitter be having the court docs and stuff. It was like actually post post public, post, post, post. public knowledge. You can get those. Yeah, that's true. I don't even know what that means. Like all of these documents are public knowledge. Like where? where? <laughs> where are all these documents? Like the city and the state have to put like the the document. It's like, like um, registrar, whatever. Every city or county calls them different things. But basically, like any documents, marriage documents, all that stuff is actually legal and it's open based on the state law. Because I know there's a couple, what state had, you can just look it up and the other states you just you have to download pay. them. Yeah. Or oh. you can request them. To be sent to you? Yeah, like death certificates and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that you can actually, property filings, a lot of that stuff you really, you can really pull up. So it's just like it's like open-ended information, kind of like somebody like unfollowing somebody on Twitter. You'd be like, oh, snap the bag and baby. <laughs> it's like you could just see it. You can see they're not following no more. Did you say Meg and the baby? Yeah, Meg and the baby. <laughs> <laughs> she unfollowed him. him. Uh, her boyfriend said, What? I got oh, you. is that her boyfriend party? Party, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's why he was. I was like, I didn't know that was her boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't that tell from her page. If you go to his page, you can tell. <laughs> that sucks for that your girlfriend. Way more for, sense. Because for your girlfriend to start beefing with the baby, it's just like, hey, uh, <laughs> the girl, only thing that's lad, man. The baby killed somebody. Uh, it, killed two it, people. Man. I didn't even know about the second body. Hey, yeah, he, got, he, he killed two people. Killed dos. He knocked somebody out in the mall. It's crazy how how Meg the Stallion don't be claiming her dude either. It's the Meg thing. She do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's Meg the Stallion. This is Meg the Student. <laughs> <laughs> He's not on the way though. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go with uh uh Meg the Scallion having a loud at a funeral. Uh, what what are you going with, Kev? What's worse is starting a problem. It was okay. what's worse, right? Yeah. What's worse? So is starting, starting a problem has it on that one. We're gonna jump right to this next. I'm gonna go laughing. I'm going laughing right after this. With over 60 CBD products under their belt, NuX makes sure that quality CBD can be found on their website safely, easy, and all without putting a dent in your wallet. All of their products are natural, pure, lab tested, and affordable. I personally use the Indigo Berry Blast Tincture. Now, I use it all the time before I go to sleep. And man, I'm out like a light. What I love about their tinctures is that they're fast acting, easy to use, and they're made with full-spectrum USA-grown hemp. They are THC-free, non-GMO, and vegan. And you can't beat that price starting at $9.99. And I love the fact that you can just add this to your drink or your food. And they got something for everybody, too. They got a little bit of that pre-roll packed in a zigzag king-size cone, four different strands for you to enjoy, and no added flavors. Also produced with USA-grown hemp. So if you like the ritual of smoking, but you don't like getting high, Get them free rolls. Only $9.99 for those. They also have the relax shots for $4.99. And those that want to incorporate it in their daily routine, you can get that monthly 30-pack for only $99. Also, you can get the disposable pens. You know, something you can just take on the go with you. And you you don't got to worry about bringing a charger to charge it up or nothing like that. Each pen has an estimated 200 puffs per use with 150 milligrams of high-concentrated full-spectrum CBD and is naturally flavored with terpenes. Plus, NuX offers a collection called On The Go that offers all products under a $10 price point. 
That's perfect for those that are trying CBD for the first time. So, to all my listeners out there, you get 30% off your first order for a limited time. But only when you use the special promo code SQUAD at checkout. So remember, this is a limited time offer, so go right away to newx.com. That's nu-x.com and use the promo code SQUAD, okay? nu-x.com, use the promo code SQUAD to get 30% off your first order for a limited time. Look, we deserve to know what we're putting in our bodies and why, especially when it comes to something that we take every day. Ritual's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin is formulated with high-quality nutrients in bioavailable forms that your body can actually use. What you won't find is sugars, GMOs, major allergens, synthetic fillers, and artificial colorants. Plus, the fresh taste and delayed release and capsule design make taking your vitamins easy. I've been taking Ritual for about three months now, and I love the fact that it's vegan-friendly and the taste. Ah, no weird aftertaste. That's what I love about it. Ritual is made traceable. You'll always know what nutrients you're taking and where they come from. Thanks to Ritual's one-of-a-kind visible supply chain. So get key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off during their first three months. Visit ritual.com slash squad to start your ritual today. Next topic is <laughs> every language fluently versus play every instrument just okay. Mm. Ooh, I- it would be way more valuable of a tool to be able to speak every language fluently. Yeah, for sure. I think playing every instrument just okay, there's not much you can do. If, if it were like be fluent in language or in amazing at the instruments, it's a better thing. But right. I would love to just visit a country and understand their language. It would be so much easier to travel and enjoy uh, it. While uh, I agree with that, it is, depending on your level of like instrumentation, you could make a lot of money because there's royalties involved in that. You could be on, you don't even have to be that great. You could just be in a background playing trumpet or something mm-hmm. and you get paid for the rest of your life. Well, will people like, pay you if you're just okay at a lot of stuff? I feel like the people who yeah, are I mean, really I mean, You don't have to, because think about it. Like, it, I mean, you're a, you, you're a musician. You've played instruments before. As long as you like can get it right. But that's the thing. I'm just okay at a lot of instruments. And that's, there. there's no value well, yeah. in that. But here's the thing, though. You're not, like, when I say just okay, I mean, like, you're not a shining star. You're not Kenny G or David Sambo or anything, but you're great with a band, and you're consistent, and you can play every instrument. So, like... Just okay. He said just okay. I mean, you... St- I mean, okay, so... Okay, are you mean, like, okay, are you saying, like, you're not, you're not Slash? You're like, yes. well, no, Prince was really good at it. You're, you're like, like a, you're like a church drummer. Like a good church drum. Okay, like Jacob Collier can play a lot of instruments. Mm-hmm. Great. So but really I, word, okay. I don't think anybody would say he's the best piano player. You, the you, best wouldn't, you Just, wouldn't like, you can read the sheet music for every instrument, but you're not going to do a whole lot of riffing. You're not going to like. Okay, got yeah, it. That okay. type of thing. So you're good. You're good at every yeah, instrument. Yeah, you're, you're good at everything. Oh, if that's the case, I would take, for me personally, I enjoy music and I enjoy playing music. I'd have much more fun in life. Uh, if I could play a lot of instruments, even if I didn't do anything with it, it would be super dope to speak every language, though. Especially have when people been, don't. Have know. you been doing stuff with your guitar? Uh, he was waiting for I've me. Been moving it. I've been moving it over here when it gets knocked down, but I haven't. I haven't even tuned it in a while. I still know a couple play. chords. Not at all. Okay. That used to be a chord. Yeah, go ahead and put that. What there. happened? Did it mute? <laughs> It yes, no one like not I, 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 Listen, man, I was all full of myself during the Christmas break. I was like, man, I'm going to be nice. I was literally playing for like four or five hours a day for, because we were locked down at that time. Mm. So I was like, I was pretty just okay. And when the new year started and the coronavirus numbers dropped in LA, I was like, well, back to everything I used to do. <laughs> I, like, I think. I think I would want to be around musicians more. Like, there's a lot of countries I'm not going to go to. So it's just like, and do I keep the languages? Like, if I know them all, you got to use them to keep them. Like, if I just run into somebody in Zimbabwe, do it just come back to me? Or do it like, or do I forget? Uh, nah, you are a, what is it? Is it called a no, poly, when you know a it, you know, I mean, if in, in to hear scenario, when you know it, you just know it. Yeah. Okay. You would just yeah, know. Like, no, it'd probably be like knowing how to ride a bike, BT. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I'm good. Cause I I, I could name a few countries I'll be in often, and other than that, I'm I'm hard past it. It also comes down to like how fun is it to learn each? Like if you if you took away the easy route and it was just like either learn every instrument or learn every language, learning the instrument is always gonna be more fun. I, I can't stand, like I tried to oh, learn other not. languages and it's difficult. So I would just take the easy route on that. Because mm. honestly with, me, with, me, with music, there's only like four or five instruments that I would really want to know how to play. The rest is like, I'm probably not going to want to be, the, I'm not going to do nothing with the bassoon or like the French horn. Yeah, that's just, a good I, point. I would just want drums, piano, as a black guy guitar, that which covers bass. Yeah. I say if you bust out as a black guy that could just play the harp, Nigga, somebody gonna hire you. Somebody gonna pay you a lot of money. <laughs> What's I will play the you if you can play the heart. Pat panties is coming off with the heart. Oh, nigga, really? Like, Why the heart? Oh, oh, this harp in the living room. Everybody I don't think this. I'm like, oh, this. Nah, Pat, that is a, a panty a, What do you play right now, Pat? You play play the piano and drums, right? I mean, I'm I'm only like good at the piano and the guitar ish like good is hard because the the scale is too high like with guitar like it's like from not knowing play. anything to john mayer that's way too way right. too crazy so i would say like uh guitar and and drum uh, and and piano mostly drums and bass as a secondary but i'm not yeah. like amazing at it i you play the recorder and the clarinet and the piano no, don't nobody caught that recorder shut your ass what? Oh, you <laughs> couldn't work in second grade <laughs> for that recorder <laughs> Are you Lil Wayne level good on the guitar? Or you think you're better than Wayne? Oh, like like Lil Wayne is to rap or Lil Wayne no, to no, guitar? No. Or Lil Wayne on the guitar? Oh yeah, I'm better than Lil Wayne. All right. He was he was just doing like Wayne, you oh, heard it. Beef, son, challenge. What up? Yo, yeah. Lil Wayne has been famous like my whole life. He His been legitimately famous for twenty. Wait, but do these kids know him? Like the TikTok kids. Yeah, no. Just because I mean, so many rappers reference him because he's like he's. He I know it's different when rap. you reference him. And, like, do they know him? Like, can they like do a, a Lil Wayne song? Can they rap? A I few think lines? they know Wayne. I just don't think they know old Wayne. Yeah. What's the last Lil Wayne song that was like a a universally like a, a hit, like a big hit? Well, he, he was did? on uh, what's it wasn't his. He was on what's popping. That was probably the biggest thing he's been on with Jack Harlow. Yeah. Um, but other than that, probably. Last, what was his last name? Officer Lollipop. Not nah, Lollipop. Nah, That's like really? after that. Was it was that Pop. long ago? Hang on. A Millie dropped the world on your head. A Millie? That was before I even moved to LA. Oh, oh, oh what's the other song to hear? The one that Swiss Beats did. Um, oh, it was the same beat. He just gave him the same beat he had gave somebody else. I think so. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'm gonna go life. with a Millie. I'm. Uh, a milli for 100. A milli was 2008. It's been a that while. We long. saying it was that long for Wayne to have a. No, he, he had some. It can't be that long. Carter Five. Yeah, Officer came out after that. But if we're talking huge songs that yeah, you said everybody exactly knew. No, I, I know. I, I know. I just, I felt like, I felt like he had something after a milli. What he about had, uh, Mona Lisa Lisa featuring Kendrick? Who? Mona Lisa featuring Kendrick? Nah, that wasn't no big slapper. We was happy to hear them on the same track, but that wasn't no slapper. Yeah, it's a it's a reason why. I'm... It was like Carter Three, I think, might have been. Two thousand eight. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if these kids really know him. Like, well, that. no, it dropped my son was only my second son was born in two thousand eight. Well, no, twenty eleven was when he dropped the Carter Four. Yeah. So, and that had uh, six foot, seven foot. Okay. Okay, uh, that one. I feel like everybody knew that. Okay, I'll give you six foot, seven yeah. foot. But you know what? A lot oh, and of how people, to love. Remember how to love. Like tigers. How to love. How to love. That that's was the during ugly. the vine. That was vine time. Yeah, that's the ugly. That's the ugly crying baby song. Mm. Okay, how to love was 2011. Okay, that makes more sense. Dang, that's that's been 10 years. But right. man, to your to your point though, I think he bring. I think Nikki. They know Nikki for sure. And right. she always brings up Wayne. And so does Drake. Yeah, and Drake's still number one. Yeah, so. but I feel like an art bringing up an artist and listening to their, like hearing them, another rapper say their name ain't the same oh, as Wayne. Like, oh, you say if the music came on, would they be like, oh, this is Lil Wayne? Right, right. right. Mm. 
Yeah, because right. Future mentioned Steve Harvey in his song. I don't think kids would be like, "Oh, I know Steve Harvey <laughs> because of that." Right. <laughs> Dang, ten years, Wayne. It's been it's been a minute. Uh, Dang. That's what I'm saying. Even... I feel like people know his kids, his daughter, yeah. more than they know him. If you're young. Wow, that's just... we... I used to be a man. Wayne was my shit. Man. <laughs> Bawaji, Bawaji. That's the first time I heard Wayne. Bawaji, Bawaji. What? Bawaji, Bawaji, Bawaji. Bawaji, Bawaji. That's not Bawaji. You been saying Bawaji? Bawaji, Bawaji. Bawaji. Bawaji, Bawaji. There's no specific way to say it. It is. No, no, no. It is Bawaji. It is Bawaji. Bawaji, Bawaji, Bawaji. Like a top. Like you spin the top. It's a wobble. Here, that's just you, how you talk normally. You, uh, <laughs> you're not wrong about that, but you are wrong on how you're saying it. Bawadi, bawadi, wobbledy, wobbledy. That is close. They're not close <laughs> at all. To so here, when you walk, it goes bum, bum, ba, da, 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 da. <laughs> that was a stretch. Everybody laughed at you, so it worked. Y'all here, here but his glasses look like <laughs> Professor Honeybun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's bring it to a vote, man. What y'all like? Shut up, Wayne Kevin. Or, Shut or, up. Or, All right, let's put it to a vote. What y'all going with? <laughs> what are the options again? Where's the topic? Um, <laughs> man, y'all don't even know. What kind of host y'all don't stay on Y'all don't stay on task, man. I would, I would go language, with... Uh, speak every language fluently. Uh, or uh, play every instrument. Oh yeah, I would, I would play every instrument serviceably. I, I I probably could make a great career being okay at a lot of instruments. I could make some great videos. If you were great at making all the languages, <laughs> people don't speak them, so they wouldn't know what you're talking about. It would be dope to travel, but that I could make more money being a solid musician in a lot of different ways. Make some great videos is hilarious. Doing business with That's how you do the logic. <laughs> well, that's the thing. I don't really be doing business. Almost all of my audience is English speaking countries. So I don't know that it'd be, it's like the United well, States and the UK. Because you don't speak other languages. If you did. Yeah, but I wouldn't know the cultural impact. Even if I could speak the language, I wouldn't know the culture. And I think the, the jokes are in truly understanding the culture. You have to like read, like, is comedic timing in, like the same in other languages? Y yeah. Ah, different. I'd be always curious about how people sing in different languages and it still be rhyming, but it also makes sense in English. Yeah, the, the words be a little different. Because you know how like when you watch a Netflix movie, it's a foreign movie and they have like English dubbed, but then you put the subtitles on in English and it don't be the same exact words. Yeah. Not at all, yeah. It's like That's that. True. Yeah, I want to do, uh, I definitely am going to go with the instruments because I feel like I can have a, I'm just looking at what my lifestyle will be. And just like, this seemed like a better, more fun, relatable life than just randomly going to countries, meeting people I don't know and talking to them because we speak the same. Like, oh, oh God, thank God you speak German. Hey man, awesome blossom, uh, awesome blossom. Awesome, like, blossom. awesome blossom. I love that you went to Germany in your mind and just said English words. <laughs> I don't know, no, I don't know. Uh, all the super villains from Germany that be in the movies always speak English, and there's always a chick named Victoria close. <laughs> Meg, what you going with? No, I'd rather speak languages because I could have a job as an interpreter. I can literally live anywhere I want. I love traveling, and I hate that I only look at countries that are English speaking before I look at like where I'm going to travel. You know, because I don't want to not know the language. So, did your mom try to teach you Korean when you were young? Yeah, I can read and write Korean. I can understand. Can it. you understand it or speak it? Most of it speaking, I'm not good at because she never required me to speak back. So I always answer in English. Mm. Ah. Yeah. How many I, languages? How, how many countries? If you just had to guess off the top of your head that you want to go to that ain't English. I could give, maybe give you three. Uh, well, see, so here's the thing. I want to go to all of them because I feel like every country, even if it's just for a day, each country has something different. The food is different. I like trying different food. I like just seeing how different people live. I think in America, we get too caught up with America and we forget that it's just a small portion of this huge world. Right. And I feel like you miss out on a lot when you don't learn about other people and their, how they live. So I feel like there's places I wouldn't go to if they didn't speak English. I feel like that's kind of dangerous, ain't it? If no yeah. one speaks English, even if they do speak English and you go there, they ain't gonna like you because you're American. 
Right. Often true. Are you don't are you don't speak the, the native language? That's how it is in Paris. They don't care about you being black or white or whatever. You don't speak Paris? I mean French? You don't speak Paris? You don't speak Paris? I was hoping it was something. Right, well, uh, looks, looks like the instruments have it. I'm gonna go instruments too. We're gonna jump onto this last and final topic <laughs> right after this. What does your personal care routine say about you? Whether you keep it simple or you have a 10 step plan. Premium grooming products make all the difference in how you look and feel. With Hawthorne, you can get the most out of your personal care routine. With high quality shampoos, body wash, and hand soap. Even with the luxurious sandalwood shaving gel. All made without sulfates, parabens, and other harsh chemicals. Hawthorne is a premium grooming brand that tailors your personal care routine to your unique profile. First, you take their quiz and ask you things like, where do you like to go? bars, lounges. What do you like to drink when you get there? Are you a neat person? Do you like to drink the wine? They compile all those questions and they tailor it to you. The quiz was quick, easy, and fun. At the end, I got the essentials bundle, tailored perfectly for me. I got the body wash to stay nice and fresh and I got that shaving cream to keep your boy lined up and clean pretty good, you know, for, for the beard anyways. And my lady loves how I smell when I step out of the shower after using that body wash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hawthorne takes all the risk out of your shopping for your personal care by giving you free shipping and returns with high quality self care products tailored specifically for your needs from Hawthorne. We tell you something, looking your best has never been easier. Take Hawthorne's quiz today and get started on your personal self care routine by going to hawthorne.co and use the promo code SQUAD and get 10% off your first purchase. That's H A W T H O R N E. Dot co and use the promo code squad s q u a d d hawthorne.co and use the promo code squad last topic of the day we have which would you rather be bulletproof versus fireproof to hear you're already bulletproof armadillo <laughs> <laughs> bonjour mon ami oh sorry i was speaking paris uh <laughs> i'm sorry i thought we were still speaking paris croissant croissant lasagna croissant <laughs> lasagna is lasagna. Italian. <laughs> if Tahir picks the speak all languages one, words. would he learn English? <laughs> 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 Just give me I English. Know. I don't care. You know, about man, you know they over there speaking that Paris, man. <laughs> I said, speaking that Paris, I'm like, I did that to myself. I'm going to cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I was in Canada, man. They speak that Toronto out there. That is, is crazy. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. You speak burrito. <laughs> Bean? Yes. Chicken? <laughs> yes. That's funny. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> That's a very funny class to take. <laughs> Bulletproof or fireproof? I feel yeah. like my... I have a greater chance in life of uh, running into a fire than be, being shot at. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't think people really want to shoot me. Really? Kevin would be burning his hands and stone. Kevin, you are a black man in America. That's what I'm saying. Are you kidding me? That's true. Hey, no, I mean, why did the police really shot me and they were like, he over here forgetting. He like, we don't live like this in this neighborhood. Yeah, he's like, why would anybody shoot me? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about the police. I was thinking about regular people. I didn't even think about the police. I always think about the police, nigga. Police, <laughs> stray bullets from people who aren't <laughs> aiming at you. <laughs> the, the, the police don't care that you're a clean comic and a great father, nigga. You still- <laughs> they Man, don't. for one moment, I forgot I was black in America. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is, hey, the system's working, bro. The system <laughs> works. The first thing like, you thought about was your, the first feeling you thought was your people. It's the, the system's working, bro. Hey, listen, I didn't even think of black people. I was just like, who wants to shoot me? And then the police were listen, like, Listen, Kevin get pulled God, over. He, think, he thinks he get pulled over and be like, license and registration. You, you can't vote state, man. Get out of here, man. You ain't going to do nothing wrong. <laughs> It'll never be like that. You still I thought a Maserati, but I was like, nah. I didn't say that. This is not true. You guys are putting your feelings about me onto my end. This is not true. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about police brutality for, for just a moment in time, guys. Yeah. I just wasn't thinking about, about racism and gangs and all that. Yeah. I don't be running into gangs that much. Well, lucky you. <laughs> you don't be running into no gangs. 
What do you mean by running into like turning a corner and they're like, they're like <laughs> <laughs> I will risk my life for some good fried chicken, nigga. Why are the bullies doing this? Is an old school game. He has a cane, like you here to catch a licking. <laughs> you ran into the, the wrong alley. You ran, you ran into when I was a kid, he used to do that. Yeah, are you buddy. The Why did they do that? Man, well, this is your fit. face. Gonna get like, pounded in. Oh, uh, I thought it was like a warm up. Like, let me warm up my knuckles. Okay. You ran into the Warriors. <laughs> the Warriors. <laughs> The oh, sharks. <laughs> oh no, it's the sharks. <laughs> that was funny. Back in the day before the Crip and, and Crips and Bloods, they was like, we're the Panthers, we're the Warriors, we're the Lions, Jack. So I, I asked my dad what Jack. the toughest gang in his time was, and they, I, I kid you not, they were the gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> the sharks versus the Jets. <laughs> The gladiators? I was like, no way. But wait, he's not talking about the TV show, right? He's not talking about Turbo and the rest of those guys, are he? <laughs> Saber? <laughs> oh, my God. I used to want to be on that so bad. Oh, I look like a That player. is funny. Your dad turned in the corner with his backpack. He's like, oh, no, this is gladiator territory. <laughs> they were, like, looking down, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is, Bub. <laughs> you did it there. There's Mr. Cloud. <laughs> That's when they used to fight underhanded like this. <laughs> no, no, no. This is th this is the weird part of LA. My dad got almost got jumped at a roller rink because <laughs> the bloods were just starting and he was like rolling, he was like rollerblading, and he saw his friends and he went like this because it, it still meant A-OK. -okay. Yeah, he yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, why did people even flash that? It was like, hey man, what's up? Hey, okay. And he said he almost got the brakes beat off of him, but they knew his brother. So, <laughs> it, it's um, funny too, because they don't know how official. long how long ago was it? It was like, no, nah, y'all just start doing this two days ago. Y'all can't jump me. I gotta let us know, bro. <laughs> there was no email back then. It's like, bro, how we know? <laughs> the visual of your dad skating and being like, and somebody being like, get up. <laughs> hey, what? He what just why is that bad? <laughs> why is they're that on bad? skates too. They're skating past your dad. Look at your coin. <laughs> <laughs> we saw what you did during Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> <laughs> Saw what you did during September. <laughs> oh, man. That's I, had, uh, I actually had the Bloods and the Crips albums. What albums? Yeah, an album? the Bloods and the Crips what? make music. Are yeah, but like music? what kind of music? Like it would be a, it was a Blood album and it was a Crip album. It was uh, I think like singing was on wax a gospel. Did what they A and R it or they was. The, the game members was rapping. The game members were right. They were rapping. Oh. Really? Yeah. Well, that still happens. They, they, they like Snoop and OT Genesis on one, and then like YG and Game. No. On. It would be all the all the all the Crips will be on one, and all the Bloods will be, be on another album. Man, you cool. I'm pulling it up right now for you. How did you, you, you end up getting it? Was you was you forced right. to do it? They were oh, like, they were, bye bye. He was like, all right, all right, all right, cool. I was, <laughs> they tried to give it to you at um at Walmart in Inglewood back they in the day. Should have did it like a double album, like sweatsuit. Hey, 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 that's a good album, by the way. It is. <laughs> I like it. Oh. <laughs> hey, I feel this, like this is it right here. This is one of them. Oh, oh my god, them? banging on wax, banging on wax. Oh, I didn't know they were together. And is this then, not a, this is not a joke either? No, this was this was a real album. I had I had this album and it was banging on wax too. And then but the them ain't black, but them all Mexicans. That's a good work. <laughs> That's a good title for it though. Yeah, banging on wax is solid. I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you. It looks like the blue one. There's a lot of blue on here. <laughs> one yeah, the search. Bro, it was it was a real thing. It was so wait, they were they were collabing. Even if you look at that album cover, it was more Crip space than it was Blood space. I'm what like, year was this to hear? Like ninety. Uh, yeah, it was it was early nineties. Wow. What? They were together on the same tracks. Nah, nah, just on just on the same album. I'm sure they wouldn't. Wait, how? Oh, you were like five listening to this. 
Um, yeah. No, no. I was like, I don't know, like eight or ten when I was listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you had a tough, I had a tough life. You was listening to banging on yeah. wax at eight. You're at the corner. Yeah, the answer to this next question is it was good. How was the music? It was good. The thought of to hear yeah. turning on banging on wax and then just biting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> How did you find that? This is the second one right here. Hold on, let me show you. Bang, Bang on wax. wax. Here used to shank his Capri Suns. <laughs> oh, no. I had to show him who was boss, my boy. Wait, why you stand up there? The I can wow. see it through, my boy. This, this is the other one right here. This is banging right. on wax. Hey, they had some pretty decent art direction. The saga continues. Mm -hmm. How did you get these albums in St. Louis? Camelot. Right. Sam Let's move Riders, riders too. Yeah, man. How deep Dog is your hood? Riders, wow. What's the That's I, I, this is not, this is exactly what I had right here. I had this tape, and then I, later on, I got the CD. What is Damu? That's what bloods refer to each other as. Don't you don't say that. Don't don't say any of it. Yeah. Oh. Okay, D man, you ain't lying, Pat. This Bloods and Chris Bane on Wax 2, the saga continues, is a solid album cover. I was about to say, like, I kind of, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> well, look, how'd they get a drone back then? They, had, a, they yeah. had an early drone. No, somebody was at the top of the roof, like, hey, take a picture. So oh, here yeah. you had a lot of tabs open. Why were you on pork.com? <laughs> pork I watched yeah. How on the Hog. I was like, pork I'm pork. signing a petition. <laughs> He puts barbecue sauce on pork hub, like yeah. Uh, <laughs> pork hub, there's baby the back shot with a beer ball. <laughs> <laughs> baby back ribs interracial. POV <laughs> <laughs> baby, POV light meat versus dark B -O -V. B -O -V. <laughs> <laughs> We do that black chicken. Porn <laughs> man, am I right? Wow. <laughs> Evan, Can, Ebony. Can Ebony. watch porn. Hush. What? Hush. Ebony. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. Ale Alexis, Texas. Alexis, Texas. Hey, you want to know a funny thing? Um, what's it called? Hannah Montana was almost Alexis, Texas, but uh, the porn star took it. Isn't that crazy? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's yeah, funny. very fun fact. Probably the funnest fact about Alexis Texas. Yo, we were looking at buying a house uh, in Chatsworth, and the realtor was like, hey, man, there's a lot of porn going on in this part of the city. <laughs> we were like, what do you mean? So we looked it up. The realtor like, said Chatsworth, the capital of the porn industry. I was like, yeah. Yeah, that's the valley, baby. Bruh. Yeah, they going to be doing in the sex. Porn in the heat. I never got why they drove to the valley to do porn. Because it's cheaper to like book the stages and all that stuff. It's Bigger cheaper. houses. Meg all the good. producer. Meg, you produced a porn shoot? You know no. she did. Would I? No. You absolutely would. Be there? You wouldn't even see the, you wouldn't even see the, you would just produce it and be about the budget and making sure people had lunch. You wouldn't even think of it, nothing of it. But I, it's, yeah, it's, I probably wouldn't even be on set. I would just be like, here, y'all got what y'all need. Meg, it's a foreign porn, so you speak all the languages to handle it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I hear set's not as fun as you would think. Yeah, That's because it's very like. You been on one, Pat? Hey, guys. You been on one? No, when you, because I've seen like, I've seen documentaries and stuff, and they're just like, it's not like a, like people are like, ooh, sex. And it's, it's very like, okay, run that back. All right, move this way, move your, it's not a, like a whole enjoyable experience. Yeah, sometimes they say that the other actor or actress is like kind of rude. Like if you try to introduce yourself to the to the woman, they'd be like, "I'll be in my set. I'll be in my trailer." And it's just ah, like, you next you have to have a good. Yeah, you know how much trauma you got to have to be able to like just treat that as a business transaction. Ooh, right. that's, that's not even that's crazy. Trauma. You might just you might just see it as work. It's really After weird though. Paying in order to see it as work and put that that whole like wall. No, you're thinking of it the way you think of sex. I think another person could just see it as as yeah. sex and nothing more, nothing I'm less. Saying, I don't think you have to be I don't think you have to have a dramatic so, lifestyle. So they, think about, about it like this because it's so because your body is your own and you're it's so personal. I'm not saying I'm not saying anything negative about it. I'm just saying there's a lot that you have to unpack there. If it's like think about what if it was a girl you walked on set and she was 
terrible. She was ugly. She was like, ew. You're like her breath stank. And you're like, oh gosh. That's for this one. How much is the job paying? <laughs> <laughs> It's your personal I never thought That's about what I'm, that. I'm saying. What if they were musty though? I never thought about that because you know, like a lot of these. I, just, of I these don't like breath, like stinky breath. Probably get around and people. I have probably issues. would get a bad rap if 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 that were the case. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's yeah, the, uh, oddly enough, though, most porn people be super super cool. Every time I see porn people out there, like so cool and sweet. Right. Because they get to have sex for a living. That's why. <laughs> super nice. All of them super cool. They be following me and then liking the channel. Like, you guys are all right, man. It's a lot like the music industry. Like, there's some people who are just kind of like in a 360 deal who get like screwed over and get paid nothing. And there's screwed some over. Just... Hey, <laughs> bars. Everybody gets screwed over, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it to a vote, man. Fireproof bars. or bulletproof? What y'all going with? Bulletproof. 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 We're talking about in the life I live today, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. What, what else are you talking about? Well, I, in my brain, anytime you give me superpowers, my mind always say, is there other super people around or is it just <laughs> is it just me? Yeah, but being That's fireproof is the worst superpower ever. That's so if you're a fireman. But so is bulletproof. No, because that's the main weapon against humans. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not a human. I'm a super person. Not, not if you pick the fire one. Then you can get shot in a fire. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be super wild. <laughs> like, Hi, get, I'm fire poop. Pow, 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 pow. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and you try to catch him. The flames, no, get him before he walks into the flames. You'll never catch me now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You got me. <laughs> You, you would literally die in flames, not hurting, <laughs> bleeding out. <laughs> and they can't save you because you're fireproof and it's fire. No, I'm trying to get my candy man on, man. Just walking through the fire and shit. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Right. I'm going bulletproof, too. Yeah, I'm, like going bulletproof. Bulletproof. I'm going bulletproof. I'm going bulletproof. Bulletproof has it on this one, man. We want to thank our special guest, BT Kingsley, for pulling up in the building. Also, shout out to the original squad. We got Kev on stage, Pat Cloud. Meg scooping your boy to hear more, man. I appreciate y'all. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace. 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 All right, y'all.